What will win in a drag race between the Lamborghini Urus Performante and the new Ferrari Purus San how do you say it? Purus Purus Sandwich? Purus Segway? Poo Sandwich? I don't know. Purus Sangway. I think it's that. Anyway, we're gonna find out because I'm gonna race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Carwow. Let me tell you about this Urus. So it's got a four litre twin turbo V8, puts out 666 horsepower, the number of the beast, and 850 newton meters of torque. Driving all four wheels via an eight speed automatic gearbox, does have launch control. It's rather heavy, just over 2.1 tons. It's expensive as well. Starts from 210,000 pounds, though this one in this wonderful spec, which has been lent to me by Kira Solutions, it's about 290,000 pounds. But it looks epic. But is it as epic as the Ferrari? Well, let's find out by speaking to its driver, it's Lucky Kira from Race Lab. So, Lucky, how are you? Oh, I've got another radio in here. I'm talking to myself. Ah! Sorry, that was an awful introduction, Lucky, but <laughs> anyway, Lucky, how are you? I've only just heard you on the radio now. <laughs> it's not a very good start by me, is it? Oh, I still haven't turned it off. I've got another one in here. Hello, 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 hello. I, uh, I'll just turn that one off. Sorry, I've got all the radios in here, mate. I'm just having a bit of a nightmare. Anyway, Lucky, how are you? Yeah, I'm all good, all good, you? Yeah, I'm all right. So you and I, Lucky, we have something in common, don't we? Yeah, we certainly do, mate. We certainly do. Let's talk in the way we talk when we're about, I don't know, 20. So I'm going to talk to you like that, mate. You all right? How you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm all good, mate. I'm all good. Going to see you down to Punch and Judy later. <laughs> I think it's shut, eh? it? What's that, mate? What's that? A bit thick for me. I said I think it's shut, eh? it? Nah, nah, that's open. It does all, all night if you want it to, mate. The reason Lucky and I are talking like this is because we're both from the same part of the world. We come from a town called Warsaw, which is, it's a little bit like Bel Air or Beverly Hills, isn't it, really? It's like the Beverly Hills of the United Kingdom. Yeah, I totally agree. Centre of the universe, mate. It's where it all began. Lucky actually went to the same school that my dad taught at back in the day, though he didn't remember my dad. And why don't you remember my dad? Because um, I was, my attendance was so good. Um, I just forgot his name. I don't think Lucky went to school that much, but it doesn't seem to have harmed you, Lucky, does it? Because um, what do you do? I'm in the building game at the moment. But you also race cars, don't you? Yeah, I've, I've been racing cars for about five years now. In particular, you've been a bit too modest here. This is classic Warsaw-itis, this is. Tell us the truth. So, so you race Ferraris, that's why you're in the Pura Sangue, and you're not only race, didn't you, aren't you champion in the UK? I, I didn't race UK last year, but the previous years, yeah, I've won a couple of titles, mate. There we go. See, people from Warsaw are normally modest. Obviously, I'm not. I'm, I'm the exception. Anyway, Lucky, enough chat. Can you give me the stats on your Ferrari Pura Sangue? Yeah, it's a 6.5 litre, naturally aspirated, 725 horsepower, 716 newton meter in a torque. It's about half a million pounds. What about yours? Well, you say yours, it's um, obviously not actually mine, but yeah, I'll give them the stats on this. You've got more power. I've got 666 horsepower. I've got more torque because I've got turbos, 850 newton meters. This car is less expensive. I won't say cheaper, less expensive, but I wonder which is going to be the quickest. How heavy is your Ferrari? It's 2,033 kg without me in it, so I add another few hundred kilo on top. Okay, so it's going to be pretty close. But before we get into the racing, I want to know your honest opinion of which one you think, first of all, looks the best between these two cars. And I'm going to say the Lamborghini. I think they both look spectacular, but for me, the Ferrari looks wise would win. Okay, next challenge then is going to be a sound check. So I'm going to rev up this Lamborghini. Have a listen to this. <laughs> got some good noise coming out of that exhaust there, some pops and bangs. Can you compete? Is that the standard exhaust? Yeah, standard exhaust, mate. Okay, um, Ferrari definitely won that, didn't it? I couldn't quite hear yours. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I definitely heard yours. So yeah, clear win for the Ferrari, but this is not what matters. What matters is the racing. So shall we get into it? Let's go, mate. Let's go. Three. Two, one. 
You all right, Lucky? You okay? I think so. Give me a second. Let me just see. I can't get it into launch at the moment. Are you just trying to psych me out? Yeah, it would help if I put it in first gear. I'm, I'm, I'm ready now. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> you weren't in gear. Right. Okay. Oh, it's bogged a bit. Had in there. I think this can go quicker. I think you were a bit slow off the line there, Lucky. What happened? Yeah, I was slow. You sort of went when his arms were up rather than down. <laughs> so the trick with this, you have to go as soon as the hands start to move down. So it's not once they've gone down, it's when they're like starting to move down. So you have to time it. You're anticipating the hands starting to go down. So you're almost jumping the start. Understood. Shall we try that again? Okay, so we're going to give Lucky a bit of tuition because it's a bit funny how we launch these cars. The reason is we want the cars to leave at exactly the same time so we compare the performance of the cars. So Jack, do it again and I'll, I'm going to say over the radio when I'm lifting off the brake and I'll say now, okay? Now. Yeah, I think I'm good with that then. Now you know how we did the launch. Oh, it's closer this time. This bogged. Oh! He's coming back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no. How was that? This car bogged off the line pretty bad. And then we were pretty close, but then I think you just started to come past me and you had me on the line. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think I got the start right from what you told me. I don't know about you, but yeah, it's sort of even from the start and then it's sort of at the end, we got a bit in front of you, mate. Ignore that first race, because you weren't sure about the start. We're going to do best two out of three that will be the first race. You're one nil ahead. Okay? Should we go again? Let's go. Don't bog. Don't bog. This is a classic thing with the Lamborghini Urus. It bogs. Why do you bog off the line? Someone who owns this car has been listening to Classic FM. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, got ahead of him that time off the launch. He is reading me back in. Oh, but have I got enough? Come on. That was close. Yeah, that was close. You were reading me back in. I was just a little bit quicker off the line than you. But you know what that means? What does that mean? One each. This is the decider. Oh dear. Three. Two. One. Oh, a bit of a bog. It's going to be close. So close, he's coming. He's coming. was an insane race and I have no idea which one crossed the line first have you I haven't you know I haven't got an idea it was bloody close there is only one way to find out what actually happened Mr. the thing so then what exactly happened 
Well, the slow motion action replay reveals that the Ferrari won. However, both it and the Lamborghini took 11.9 seconds to complete the standing quarter mile. Now we can have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are both in their sports mode. Automatic mode for the gearbox. We're going to do a roll on from 50 miles an hour. I'll set the speed. Three, two, one, go. That took off quicker. I don't know what happened there. It's like his car just, I don't know, issue. And here comes the half mile. Okay, that was strange. So when I said go, your car took off really well. Must have kicked down gears much quicker than this one. But then there was like a pause. What happened? Um, now I was in auto mode and it kept on clicking up the gears. Um, I don't know who won. This one, but it was strange because you're ahead and I came past you and then you started coming back at me. It was like there's some kind of like falter in your car's gearbox, but maybe it is what it is. The turbo torque of this just took over. Yeah, that's true. That's a turbo car and it could have some. I've got a nitrous button here. I don't know what that does. A nitrous button? <laughs> Nothing, mate. I'm just joking. I didn't press anything. I fell for that. Okay, right. Let's do it again, but slightly differently. Right, second gear. 35 mile an hour, manual mode. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. change gears now. He's saying things to me, I don't know what. Oh, why is he stopping? Are you all right, Lucky? Ah, I slowed down too early, mate. <laughs> I also think that you hit the accelerator a bit too early as well. I did, mate, I did. <laughs> so let's do it again. When I say go, do not flex your foot until the word go comes out my mouth. I got you, bab, I got you. Three, two, one, go. That's more like it. victory there clear victory for you yeah this revs all the way up it, it sounds beautiful when it's up there yeah so this red line's at seven well just under seven thousand rpm what's your red line red line is at eight mate so that's making the difference you've got an extra light just over 1000 rpm in a lower gear than me so that's always going to work out for you however let's do it slightly different what we're going to do is a roll on third gear from about 50 miles an hour and maybe you're going to be a bit further down your rev range and I can benefit from my turbo torque. But let's find out. If I can't win this one, I ain't gonna win anyone. Well, what you just described sounds feasible. But it could also be a load of bollocks. We're about to find out. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go. My theory is a load of bollocks then, isn't it? I just needed to confirm something. You were definitely in third gear. Yeah, I was in third gear, mate. That's a clear victory to the Ferrari. I really wasn't expecting that. Okay, one last thing to do. Now we have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. The car that stops in the shortest distance wins. Now, if you'd rather watch the drag race with the Ferrari and the Lamborghini, click on the pop-out banner up there. Follow the QR code on your screen now. Here comes the line. Whoa, man, that was close. 
Uh, I think the Lamborghini won that one. I think so too. My walkie-talkie went flying down the brake pedal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's something I've learned about. You have to put them somewhere secure when you're doing the brake test, otherwise you're fishing around in your footwell. I was surprised about that. I thought the Ferrari would win that. Um, but there we go. This just dug in. Quite impressive, really. And they're so closely matched on performance, aren't they? Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's surprising how closely matched. I mean, when we, when we got that launch right, it was very closely matched. End of the day, which of these two cars would you rather have? I'm taking both of them, mate. <laughs> Is the correct answer. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some other videos, click on the video windows. And if you want to see how these cars, quad mile times, compare to everything else we've ever drag raced, click the link just there. Some, I don't know where it is. It says car wow. You know what to do. Thanks for watching.